We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the expansion era boomers and the mid-century groundbreakers. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Babe Ruth is on the mound for the groundbreakers in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, take a look at that career ERA in the low twos. Not an easy thing to do in the day of smaller ballparks and guys hitting a lot of home runs. One thing he does, he stays away from the barrels of the bats. And if he continues to pitch like that, he's going to have his so way with a lot of teams. Tonight, It'll be interesting and fun to watch him in this one here today. Henderson. Now at the plate, Ricky Henderson. And we are set for baseball here this evening. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. First pick, seven o'clock. The 1 0 home. And back to back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2 0 now. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. Right to him. And Robinson will throw him out. One gone. Got it second. The second baseman. Joe Morgan. At the plate, Joe Morgan, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Morgan is considered an absolute stud with a bat, particularly against right-handed pitching. Against southpaws, however, he has historically had a lot more difficulty. Fouled off. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. This is skied into short left center. Left fielder coming on. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Adam third. The center fielder, number 24, Ken Griffin Jr. So bases are empty here with two gone. And here comes Jr. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. 1 0. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. 1 0 pitch on the way. Bases are empty here with two men out. All even now, two and two. And the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another 2 2 offering. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So, a fairly painless top of the first. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one with no score after a half an inning. Nolan Ryan is the man towing the rubber for the Boomers in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? 
Hey, Matt, this guy has what we call Uncle Charlie. What's that? That's the 12 to 6 curveball. Simply look at your watch and look at the 12 and look at the 6. This guy throws old school. They call it a straight downer. However you want to call it, a 12 to 6 hook. This guy has one of the best ones in the game right now. Now to the plate, Jackie Robinson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Robinson. And the pitch. Grounded to the right. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first out. Digging in. Mickey Mantle. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he got him. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the that time it hurt. got there, it had That's fallen completely top. out of the Herbie. zone. Not much you can do with that Dang. pitch. Dang. Into the box, Ernie Banks. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Line hard to the left side. But this is a foul ball. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Ryan into the windup. Here's the one and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Reggie Jackson. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball taken a little under the letters, called a strike. Fouled away. The 0 2 delivery. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Standing in, Mike Schmidt. First offering on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Here's the 0-1. 
Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 2-2 two -two one more time. It was laid off, and the count runs full. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. The 3-2 pitch. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a that's nice good. job right there. The Getting a single on a 3-2 pitch in the middle of the zone. Grab your glove and flash some leather. Into the box now. Willie Stargell has the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. 2-0 -oh count, the pitch. Lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. So first and second with one man gone. And here comes the lifelong brewer, Robin Yao. Has a look. Now the pitch. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1 0. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. A ball and a strike. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Bullet to first base. And they will apply the tag between first and second. It's a double play, and just like that, the side is retired. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Into the box, Ted Williams. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Now the 1 0. Taken strike one on the inside corner. 
He dropped that curveball in for a strike right there. But don't kid yourself. That's a dangerous pitch. He needs to start thinking about maybe working that back door or that could get some serious damage done to it. The one and two pitch. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and Batting blows fit. smoke by a guy the at the letters. That's the ultimate Whoa. challenge pitch, and for me personally, yeah. watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. At the plate now, Lou Gehrig. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Here comes the 0 1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning, and now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. First pitch on its way. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Wind up and the 0 1. And that fastball's taken but catches the outer third. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Third set to get underway, and up next will be the Hall of Famer catcher Gary Carter. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The 1 0. In there, and it's even at one. One and one. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. And the pitch. Fastball well outside. Still two and two. And the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up. And it's even harder to make good contact with. So now to the plate, Nolan Ryan. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat.
pulls this one in the air out to left. Williams is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The left viewer, number 24, Ricky Henderson. Digging in, Ricky Henderson. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0. Is a fastball down below the knees. Now the 2 0. Inside ball three. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. At the plate, Joe Morgan, 0 for 1 here in the early going. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. No doubt this is a steal situation right here. Two outs and the leadoff hitter on first. This is the time you roll the dice and hope he gets in the scoring position where he can get a hit to bring him home. The 1-0 home. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Henderson leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Two and one to Joe Morgan. Two balls, one strike. Is down. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Now a move over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Here now the two two is looked at, and the count moves full. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four, and that's back-to-back -back walks now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. With the plate, Ken Griffey Jr. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Here comes the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Third inning, no score to this point. That evens it up one and one. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two.
one and two. Here it is. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. He's set. The 2-2. Two -two. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. A couple of walks, but no damage. We play two and a half. No score on the show. Digging in, Johnny Bench, seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First offering on its way. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot here to left. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely punished that mistake, and you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. Standing in now, Eddie Matthews. Eddie. And so watch one miss down and in for a ball, yeah. one and zero. Oh. No outs, nobody on. Hit well again down the right field line, and that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. So here now is the pitcher, Babe Ruth. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. The wind up and the 0-1. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. He went with the off-speed there once he got him to 0-2, oh but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 two -two pitch. Wow, from 0-2 oh to 3-2 in two, and that last pitch on 2-2, two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 3 2 one more time. Gets the outside corner, strike three. Now. 
Into the box now, Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, and that was a big the mistake right Number there. Seven. This guy might be their best base stealing threat in the lineup, so now he's got a chance to move into scoring position without even putting the ball into play. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Mickey Mantle looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four-seamer right there, but get back to that two-seam. It's what his MO is. Throw over to first and a dive, but he's back in. Here's the 0 1. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2 and 1 now. That's lifted the other way out to left. Henderson is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. How about it? Good stop. Ernie. Banks. Digging in to try it again. Ernie Banks. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Ryan sets. Here it is. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Here comes the 0-1. One and one. Now a throw over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. A runner on first with two away. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Misses again, ball three. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Strike swinging, chased a high one there. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Three innings complete. The groundbreakers lead it two to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. And here is Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Owen won the count. Now here's the pitch. Curveball close, but it's one and one. Now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Now the two-one. 
takes a pass and misses that strike two. Guess where he's going with this next pitch. Probably a little further outside. See if the fish are still biting. Jammed in there as this is rolled out to short. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Digging in now, Mike Schmidt, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. And he'll get back in standing. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Nobody out, runner on first. Nope. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And it's fouled away. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So with a runner at first and one gone, time now to bring in our pitch speed comparison for these two Brilliant. starters. And folks, that is not a misprint. He's been clocked at over 100 miles an hour so far. My goodness. In now, Willie Stargell. He drew a walk his first time up. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in there. He's set and the pitch. Pitch out, nothing doing. Now the one and one pitch is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. They're going to probably stay away from this guy. He's got so much power. You don't want to miss over the heart of the plate. But I think when pitchers try to be too cute on that outside corner, they might leak one a little bit inside. And this is where that guy would jump on. Ball even a two and two. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Now a move over to first and a dive but he's back. Uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball two down. Now Striding in Robin Young. Robin Young. First offering on its way. Now it's on the ground for Jackie Robinson at second. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One error in the inning, but it doesn't hurt him. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The groundbreakers lead this one two to nothing.
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Ted Williams. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here comes the first pitch. Ball, exercise. In for a strike, it's one and one. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitcher right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. The one one home is laid off for ball two. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. And the pitch. Hit hard to third. Throw over by Schmidt is right there for route number one. The first baseman number four, Lou Ready now, Lou Gehrig. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Two balls and a strike. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Now the 2 1 pitch is taken, ball three. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. One out, nobody on. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full. Three and two. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hip. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. To the plate now, Al Kaline. As he'll take a look at ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Ryan gets the sign. 2 0 on its way. upstairs running the count to three and one Johnny Bench would be next strike two called and it's full three and two 
a good fastball above the belt is normally a pitch that batters love to take a rip at, but that one froze him. Popped up. Stargell is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We played four full. The groundbreakers out in front here, two to nothing. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And now it'll be the catcher, Gary Carter. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Back up the oh no, that got him. Safe after the recovery throw. Good effort, but now we have to wonder whether or not he's going to be okay. Well, this is certainly something you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here, if there is one, is that that got him in the non throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this, he probably could. Assuming, of course, that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. Into the box, Nolan Ryan. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. The left field, number 24, Ricky Henderson. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ricky Henderson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. In there for strike one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Good changeup, and it's 0 2. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now, down 0 2. Gotta find a way to grind. Down the first baseline. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. The batter number eight, second base, Joe Morgan. So a man at third here with two gone. And here comes an important cog in the big red machine, Joe Morgan. From the stretch. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. That's wide 2 and 0. Now 2 and 0 with a great hitter up a runner on third and two outs. This is not the spot where you want to be challenging a hitter like this. This is where you have to pitch very careful. From the belt, the pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Hey, you get 2-0, your eyes light up. But you're sitting in one spot. And he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2-1 count, ready to do some damage. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Into the box now, Johnny Bench, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Here comes the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1 one, one home is looked at for ball number two. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Mm -hmm. 
the 2-1. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Joe Morgan at second. Fielded cleanly. Quick throw to first by Morgan, and that's the first down. Now batter, the third baseman, Eddie Matthews. Striding into the box, Eddie Matthews. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, bat. This guy's been as advertised. We heard that if this guy could get his foot down, he could get wood on a bullet. That last pitch and that last AB, that was triple digits, Matty V, and he still turned it around. Counts even at one and one to Matthews. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up. He was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Change of speed there, but it's taken for a ball, two and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Babe Ruth. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1-0. -oh. Runner at first here, one man out. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Scorched to third. Gloved by Schmidt to Morgan at the bank. Back to Stargell for the double play, and the inning comes to a close. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. Ready once again, Ken Griffey Jr. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. 1-1. So one, one. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And a good decision to push it that time. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play, every base hit is welcome, but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game, but it's a good one. Into the box now, Reggie Jackson. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one.
One and zero pitch on the way. Weak roller right side. Scooped up. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Now back the third baseman, Mike Smith. So a runner stands at third. One man is out, and in steps all-time Philly great Mike Schmidt. He's set. Here it comes. Here comes the 0-1. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. A man at third with one away. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. The one two misses off the plate. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. As a look, now the pitch. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Popped high in the air. Matthews camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone. But maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. First pitch on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Third with two down. Three and oh now. Come set. Now the pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. And with just five and two-thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty V, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen. And D-Roll right now, this guy's pretty vulnerable right now at this game. Yeah, Dan, you were a monster down that bullpen. That's what it seems to be in today's game. There's five or six of you guys hanging out down there. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's a lead for the mid-century era, two to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And in steps a man whose number 42 has been forever retired, Jackie Robinson. First offering on its way. Hit the other way out toward right field. 
Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The center fielder, number seven, Mickey Mantle. Now at the plate, Mickey Mantle. No hits to this point. First delivery to him on the way. A ball and no strikes. Now the 1 0. There's a fastball that misses. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. One out, nobody on. Three and one. Boy, look at that thing dart. It's full now, three and two. He's probably frustrated with himself now after swinging at what should have been ball four. Time for a deep breath. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Now back. Not your stop. Ernie. Settling in now. Ernie Banks. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Uh, great curveball there. Really fooled him with that one. Woo, not a spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Here's a look over to first. Runner back safely. Runners on first with one down. And another throw over. And the runner back. Boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Stepping in now, Ted Williams, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Two out with the man at first. the dirt here runner holds as the count moves to two and one Ryan sets here it comes low so a good eye there as he works the count back full Lou Gehrig would be next a runner on first with two away and he will strike him out ten now in the ball game and the inning is over
stepping up to the plate. Robin Yao. And guys, seventh Thank inning you. already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been Robin. flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. First offering on its way. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. Line to the right side. Ah, uh, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Number eight, Gary Carter. Now in the box, Gary Carter, one for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch on its way. Behind 0 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two seam movement to it. Two gone. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. How bad? No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Rod please. Carew will get now the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Rod Carew. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Matthews waits on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. The groundbreakers lead it two to nothing. Jim Palmer gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Last half of the seventh here, and in steps the iron horse, Lou Gehrig. The first baseman, Lou Gehrig. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball one. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Ball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Now the one and one pitch. Ball, that's out. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Strike two as the fastball is let go. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Full count now, three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Popped him up. And there's your first out of the inning. The right fielder. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. 
Coming to the plate now, Al Kaline. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Bases are empty, one man out. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0 2. Here it comes. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch on the way. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Morgan backs up and takes care of it. Two away. The catcher number five. Johnny Bench will stride in again and before he takes his cuts here let's flash you back to the third inning this was just a solo shot but it definitely helped get this offense going first pitch of the at bat on its way fouled off this should end the inning as it's sent out to second and indeed it will he throws him out at first and the side is retired so they breeze through this half of the inning eighth inning coming up the groundbreakers lead this one two to nothing to the top of the lineup stepping in Ricky Henderson we're in the eighth now and nothing's changed out there on the mound well I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business Matt he's looked really sharp and it's hard to know if it's had any effect but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in he's ready here's the first offering High and deep down the left field line. And that's going to land foul. The wind up and the 0 1. On the ground to third. Reined in. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Well, it's been a game of starting pitching so far is on cue. We give you a look at our starter comparison for these two guys in our 2-0 ball game. So digging in now, Joe Morgan. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. First pitch on its way. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. One out, nobody on. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. I'll tell you, he looks really the dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. In now, Ken Griffey Jr. He swings and lines it to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. 
And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Here's the fourth hit of the game, and it's a good one. Puts a good swing on this thing, and it goes for a double. We'll see if they can build on it here. So now to the plate, Reggie Jackson, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Tread lightly in this situation. Got a great hitter at the plate, runner in scoring position. Don't be afraid. He got the base open. Two out here and a runner at second. Hit hard to the right side. Oh, he makes the stop. It's there, and he's out. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. Don't touch that dial, or the remote for that matter. More on the show right after this. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And set to go is the third baseman, Eddie Matthews. Here's the first pitch to him. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. A ball and a strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2 1 home. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. The 3 1. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. And the throw by Yount is in time, and that's the first down. Now that the pitcher. Jimmy Fox will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Jimmy. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Perhaps a little low there, it's 2 0. Bases are empty, one man out. Good sharp slider there, and he couldn't catch up to it. Two and one now. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Good battle. Count remains full. And he struck him out. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute now missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball only the best can keep their hands back on those. At the plate, Jackie Robinson. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's 0-2 for 2 in the ballgame so far.
0 1 count. Here's the pitch. Barehanded on the move. Two out, nobody on. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Raleigh Fingers takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Fingers. Stepping in, Mike Schmidt is working on a one for three thus far. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. The wind up and the 0 1. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The 0-2 once more. A swing and a ground ball to third. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. I'm not here to make excuses, but it is cold tonight, and it looks a little damp out there, too. The ball might have just slipped out of his hands on that one. Now with the plate, Willie Stargell, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. And he fouls this one off. A runner at first with no outs here. And another foul ball. Ready with another 0 2. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 2. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. The one two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Two two here it is. This is the kind of pitching that's frustrating for me to watch. He had him down 0 and 2, then he started getting cute, and now the count is full at three and two. It happens, but I'd rather see him attack the hitter and force contact if you can't get him to chase after a pitch or two. This one's chopped to third. The throw to Robinson. Back to first, a ninth inning double play, and they're an out away from closing this one out. Now batting. And there's a final look at the numbers for the starter in this one. He was on point from the get-go this evening. Wow, what a powerful performance. Eight shutout innings in line for the win. At the plate now, Robin Young. Hit back toward the mound. And that's through for a hit. 
Now that fires me up right there. What a clutch A.B. A two-out single to get the tying run to the plate. That's all you can ask for. And the Hall of Fame catcher Gary Carter hits next. Strike one to start the at-bat. Two out with the man at first. Outside for a ball, one and one. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Left side, gloved by Banks. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The mid-century era led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Babe Ruth is the winning pitcher of record. Nolan Ryan struck out 10 in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious groundbreakers, two runs on just two hits, two errors, and they left three men on base. For the visitors, no runs, five hits, no errors, they left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 26 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.